Greetings all nations. I am Prophetess Brenda Saw Jesus. It is March 24th, 2024. Welcome to Holy Week 2024 through a black woman prophet's eyes. My prayers for Russia. May God rest the souls of the terrorist attack victims. Last week, I was informed of Russia opening its vaults to reveal black biblical Israelites and Egyptians. Putin, good for you, but God still sees what you are doing to Ukraine. With this being Holy Week, I want you to know that in the past, I've spoken out about the lack of black biblical stories being told. I take offense to this world whitewashing who God's chosen people really are. Someone said after the revelation at Sinai, new prophets were only from among the Jewish people. God has made me a holy prophetess and none of the movies represent the truth. I question why even the black filmmakers won't redo the religious movies. Everything I see about black people is fictional or comical and ain't shit funny. This is our heritage and legacy. This world ought to be ashamed. Because Jesus has visited me and spoken with me, I've witnessed with my own eyes Jesus' height and build, his white robe, blue eyes and silhouette looks the same as the pics you see around the world, except Jesus looks like a light-skinned black man. His hair is reddish brown, long and like wool and wavy. Jesus is fine, fine. The flogging, getting spat on, beating, and treatment reminds me of how our black sisters and brothers were treated during slavery. Jesus was hung on a cross and the enslaved were hung from trees. Israelites didn't keep the commandments of God and they were scattered into different parts of Africa and sold. I prayed about the part in the Bible that said, obey your slave owners. You know, I had a problem with that. I cried a bit when the Holy Spirit answered and confirmed to me that it is true. Genesis 15, 13, and he said unto Abram, know of a surety that thy seed shall be a stranger in a land that is not theirs and shall serve them and they shall afflict them for 400 years. April 8th, the day of the solar eclipse marks the anniversary of when the original Egyptian plagues of the three days of darkness began. There have been reports around the world of clouds falling from the sky onto the ground and people were taking pics and videos of them and reports of people just disappearing into thin air for three nights in a row I saw stars falling from the sky. It was not a vision nor a dream. I was wide awake looking up at the sky and God showed me the most beautiful thing but it's a major sign. Paired with the eclipse taking place on the April 8th but the Antichrist must be revealed first. There are wars and rumors of wars, earthquakes in diverse places, hatred, betrayal, falling away, and wickedness. The tribulation of these times can't be ignored. Matthew 24, 29 to 30, immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened and the moon shall not give her light and the stars shall fall from the heaven and the powers of the heaven shall be shaken. And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. Every time a solar eclipse takes place, you may not see it, but changes take place. For instance, an eclipse took place a few months before I saw Jesus in 1999. People were expecting the world to end when the year 2000 came in. God was putting me and other things in alignment right under your noses. And because I am a minority woman and God sought fit for my replacement to be in a poor community, God knew you wouldn't suspect the thing. I encourage each of you not to take these warnings for granted. Y'all are going to wish you had listened. Repent because Jesus is the only way to heaven. I repeat, repent. Jesus is the only way to heaven. Be saved. I invite all who are listening to be saved before Jesus Christ comes in like a flood. When you see him, it will be too late. Pray with me. Jesus, please forgive me for my sins. I believe you died on the cross and was raised for me. Please come into my heart and save my soul. Amen. For those of you who hear this and still don't believe, pray anyway and ask God to come into your heart and work with you.